Hello and welcome to week nine in the psychology of adulthood. And we are in chapter nine, midlife events, because midlife, the actual phrase very well known and common in our vernacular is mid midlife crisis or midlife events or those kind of things when strange identity things sort of happen. So we're going to explore that and primarily, uh, and it's nested within uh, puzzle pieces as well. And thank you, by the way, for all the feedback on puzzle pieces. That was really, really, really very informative uh, and, and very fun. Um, but midlife or life events sometimes come along and cause us to take pause, look at our trajectory, look at the ladders we're climbing, look at the road that we're going down and reevaluating, is that where we want to be? Is that where we want to go? The most common one, of course, is midlife. So midlife determined mostly by changes in the body, not so much in age, although they happen, you know, right around the same age, but changes in the body that clearly remind the individual that they're aging. And there's a certain point in life at which, you know, before that, we're going along and, you know, our bodies are, they heal fast, they don't, they don't slow down, they have lots of energy, and then we hit 40, 40 something, maybe even earlier, maybe later, and things are not quite the same and we don't have the, quite the spring in our step, can't jump out of bed, certainly can't party the way that we used to, and something has changed. And psychologically, we become aware and begin to accept the idea that there's an end point to this life. We can feel some of those processes of decline and how we deal with that is determined through these processes that we go through. Now I use the term midlife crisis more in line with Marcia's theory. So remember in Marcia's theory we have commitment and crisis and crisis I'm looking at the options. Commitment I've made a decision. So if we think about that traveling along the road and we have an experience or just an awakening or just we wake up one day and say, hey, am I on the right, am I on the right path? At that point, we go into what Marcia would term as a crisis. It's not a psychiatric emergency. I don't need Ativan. I don't, it's not that. I am simply questioning. It could be someone may have that kind of really strong emotional crisis depending on the event, depending on their identity status at that point. But it might be a, it's a point at which we kind of question. We take all those things about our life and that's what can make it or, uh, sort of overwhelming. Some big things maybe that we have highly committed to and we go, wait, is this really where I want to go? I'm aging. My, my timeline to make changes is now finite. So if I'm gonna make a change, I need to make it soon. Otherwise, it'll be too late. And that internal pressure can bubble up for a person questioning what's going on in their lives and making decisions now. So maybe questions that have been on the back burner for a long time, and now they're coming up and saying, hey, if I'm gonna do this, hey, if I'm gonna learn how to play bass guitar, I'm going to do it now because I'm running out of time, you know, that kind of thing. So in the discussion, what I want you to consider is if you are at the age in which you know what I'm talking about in terms of your body's functioning, or if you've had previous experience, maybe a breakup, a change in job, the kids leave, the kids arrive, you know, any, any one of those things that sort of make you stop and say, hey, I've got to, you know, take a look at my life. Am I on the right track? And maybe you've made some decisions. Maybe you've gone into that crisis, determined that you are not quite where you want to be, and you made a change. Looking for you to share about those things, about your life. And this is really those, maybe we can call them quarter life crises or we can call them midlife or maybe there's even late life crises but you know these kind of places that demark in the regular lifespan 
but they can happen at any time. There's a, a good friend of mine who was kind of a party guy, ended up in a car accident, and his best friend who was with him was killed in that car accident. Transformative for that individual. It's sad that the individual died, certainly. I mean, that's tragic. The, but the individual, they were both on a, on a crash course, no pun intended. They were both heading down the wrong line, the wrong road, and uh, that person made some very important decisions about their life based on that. They were like 23 when that happened. And it was still to this day, still that point in their life in which they made made dramatic changes. So they don't have to be as dramatic as that, certainly. Uh, they might be. You may have multiple, multiple ones. Whatever you feel comfortable with sharing, that's what I'm looking for in the discussion. In the quiz, I'm asking you to look at the specific kind of events. You know, it might be the same as the one you discuss in the discussion. Looking at specific ones here, I'm looking at graduation, unexpected pregnancy, illness, loss, world events, opportunities, spiritual growth, any one of those, and describing how that psychosocial event changed your identity. Pretty much the same. One of them is, of course, a private discussion. That's between you and I. Go into whatever depth you feel comfortable with. The other one is a public discussion, interacting with each other and sharing those ideas. So pretty much the same thing on either on the discussion and the quiz. So that's it for this week. Have a great week. And uh, we're, it's getting cold out, isn't it? Yep. So uh, anyway... Have a great week, and I will see you next time.